video for shaft guide dimensions are in inches take a look at sketch one make a rectangle center it up three by five and I went ahead and let's see finish sketch once I extruded that rectangle three quarters of an inch I went ahead and put the fillets in I just went fill it typed in quarter of an inch here type in a quarter and then just choose the four corners sketch two I drew one circle, got it in the proper location, finished sketch, and then I went to a rectangular pattern here. You can draw each individual circle and extrude it. You can do it that way, or you can choose the feature, which is choose one of these holes, and then direction one, just click that back line and type in the number of holes, which are two, and the spacing is one. Okay, then choose direction two. I'm sorry, the first direction, the spacing is going to be three right here. And then direction two, choose this line, and you got two holes, and the spacing is going to be two. All right, sketch three. Draw this rectangle and extrude it up one and a half inches. I came to the back, drew this rectangle and extruded it out into the air about five inches. All you want to do is just clear the two inch block. So extrude, cut that. Next, you can sketch this surface, project geometry, draw a one and a half inch diameter circle, then extrude, cut that out. Last half inch diameter hole, extrude, cut that through all. And that part is done. Taking a look at the IDW. Put your four views on here. Dimension it as shown. Put a material. Your name. Chapter and exercise number.